to say, and since I am with Franks, so I'm not at a loss for conversation. But <laughs> that's where Franks are. But uh, Uncle Jerry, uh, I was thinking all the way back when I was a kid, uh, he would come to the house a lot of times on business, and he would come by himself a lot of times. He'd stay with us, and I would sit and listen to him talk, and I was mesmerized. You know, we, were, we lived out in the country or maybe in a town, and we played with sticks and rocks and a lot of things because, as Tony would tell you, we didn't have a whole lot. But, so we were small-town folks, and we was just in our own little world. But G Uncle Jerry, he lived in Atlanta. Now, Atlanta's like New York <laughs> or Paris. He lived in Atlanta. And so it, it was, he, was, he was traveled. He was smart. He experienced things. And I used to listen to him talk, and I'd say, wow, I want to be like that guy. And uh, I had an opportunity, as I was sharing, especially the last 10 years, to really grow, to really come to know Uncle Jerry and to love him more. I used to love to sit and talk to him and ask him questions. We'd talk about politics and we'd talk about tractors and boats and uh, uh, I'd ask him a question. And sometimes I'd ask, uh, uh, sometimes I have uh, times when I'm smarter than other times and so I'd ask him questions that would require some of the depth of his knowledge, you know what I mean? And he would sit there and talk, and I'd say, good grief, what does this guy not know about? And probably some of the greatest times is when we'd be together on the phone, and he'd say, let me run something by you. Tell me what you think about this. And, and, and that was really good for me. And sometimes it'd be issues of Scripture, not that, he, not that he didn't know. Maybe he was finding out what I knew. I don't know. But it was really neat um, in my mind that somebody as intelligent as Jerry Franks, and he was intelligent, very much so. He was a guy that uh, I kind of uh, related to him. He was a guy with, that quit school at an early age, and he got, and an, I didn't finish school either, and he had before I, I got tired of being so dumb, and so Uncle Jerry started educating himself. And I said, well, I'm going to emulate him, so I started educating myself and uh, reading and devouring things with, I still do it if I get involved in something. I study the nuts and bolts of it. I enjoyed him. I loved him. I loved to sit and listen to him talk. I loved to ask him questions. And I am going to miss him greatly. Uh, but uh, he's in heaven. He's talking to Mama. I wasn't going to do this. All the ones that's gone before us that are family, they're all sitting there talking about their family probably if they do that in heaven, you know. But uh, we'll see him. Just like Tony says, if you're born again, we'll see him again. If you're not born again, you've got family that is, and you won't see him again. You must be saved. I've got to say, thank Amen. you.